Hey everybody, John from the Practical Chrome Podcast here with another Adventures in Chrome. Today I wanted to look at the Files app on Chrome OS. What can it do? Is it, is it just as robust as I, I'm hoping it is? <laughs> it in fact is. But I'm also going to take a look at thumb drives, external drives themselves, as well as opening zip files, different media files being offline and, offla offline and online, uh, as well as all the different features of the Files app. So that really quickly we can kind of go over those so you get either an understanding if you're, you're concerned about them on the, the Chrome OS, um, or if you just want to see it in action, or you just want to learn a few tricks yourself. So let's take a look, shall we? All right. So first of all, let's let's get into the, uh, the the app itself, right? So this, of course, is the Files app. So how do you, how do you open it in Chrome OS, right? If I were to close this down, how do we open the Files app in Chrome OS? A couple ways. I like to hit search and then just type in files or partial files and then hit enter. And that's going to be my files app right there. I can also click the files, uh, click of course the, the system tray and go to the app launcher and just click files. Right. So this is standard stuff. Um, also if I had this on the shelf itself, I would be able to just click it on the shelf whenever I wanted it right there. So quick easy access. Um, to the files app inside of Chrome OS. So, but what about what about what's inside the files app? Now, it's a, it's your standard files app, right? On the side, you've got all your drives, so to speak. Um, on a Windows machine, you'd have you know D and C and F and however many drives that you had back in the day. You might have had an A drive. If anybody remembers that. Um, so, there there that's where your drives are going to be. Now, first of all, the, the drives, your first two you're going to see when, it, when you first get your Chromebook are going to be Google Drive and then Downloads. Downloads is the local storage of all things that you download from the internet. So if you have not put them in Google Drive, transferring them with the Files app or uploading them with the web, then they're going to be gone if you do something like a power wash. This is the only area where files remain and are not synced. So keep that in mind whenever you're using your Chromebook. If you want a certain file that you downloaded to remain in Google, Do or Google Drive, you're going to have to move it there, either using the web or using um, the Files app. So good stuff, right? Awesome app. Love it. Good stuff. Um, so now let's take a look at uh, zip files. So people have asked, how do I open a zip file? Well, we're going to do this in a couple ways. You hear that little squeaking. That's me getting my USB stick. I'm going to pop that in real quick. And we're going to go over a couple things at once. We're going to go over external storage, like a thumb drive, as well as a zip drive. So the first thing you're going to see is the Kingston USB thumb drive that I popped in. It's got a little eject button when I'm ready to, to release it. So that way I, I make sure that all the files are, are written to the storage before I pull, pull it out or they're not in use, which could corrupt the file. So that's what this is for. This will warn me if I have a file open that's on the drive. Keep that in mind. You always want to hit that button if you can. Um, but when I go in here, which is just one click, I'm going to go in and I, there's my zip file. I put this cool little zip file in there. It was just a really quick zip file I made. If I double click it, it creates a storage file, a file storage right here, a drive that I can unpack, I mean I can eject because what this has done, this has unpacked it and allowed me to now blaze through here and look at them. And I can I can open them like all the way up, or I can actually also uh, go ahead and move them out of this location. So here's that little HTML file that I had that popped open right away inside of course Chrome. And then if I go into this uh, MD file, if I double click that, my default for this is the text uh, app, which is an app available in the, in the Chrome Web Store, um, but this actually opened directly up in that. But the way that also we can open it up in something is, is when we click it, here's our option. And this one, text, is actually the only option for that. If I go to JS, I do have a drop down where I can open it up in a couple of different applications. I can change the defaults. If I go back to HTML, again, I can view it with Chrome, with Chrome, or I have a few different ones. The text app, again, I can actually view the code of the uh, of that little file that I opened. So um, again, this is the this is kind of how we would work with a zip file. You can manipulate the files and save them in the bread back in the compressed folder, and then you can just eject it and you're done. So that's pretty cool, right? And of course, that is of course the external storage I was on before as well. Now you might be saying, well, what external storage? What what file types are available? What um, 
like can I plug in my NTFS formatted drive um, from, from Windows? Well, let's take a look. Over on the support page, it does have a list of the supported file, um, external storage devices. And these are actually the file, um, the uh, storage types, right? The file systems. And then up here we have supported file types. So we looked at, you saw the zip file, right? We know we can open that. That was on the compressed files, RAR and zip. But what about images? We can open bitmap, GIF, JPEG, WebP, media. We have 3GP, AVI, MOV, MP4. Basically, it runs the gambit of what you can open. And I'm going to open some of those um, when we go through this. But you, so you can see it also, docx, doc files, everything like that. So it can definitely open whatever you need to. So let's take a look at that real quick. So the first things first, let's open up just like an MP3 file. Let's say you decide you want to put some files in your, on your um, Chromebook. You're, first of all, they're going to need to be in the downloads folder or they're going to need to be in Google Drive and synced. So if they're in the downloads folder and we eat, and we and we need to power wash our Chromebook, they're going to go away. So keep that in mind. So first of all, here's the MP3. If I double click that, it's going to open it up in the media player. And this is pretty cool, right? This actually is the little media player. It's actually playing it right now. We can't hear it, of course. I've got it muted. But this is a little media player that will play the audio files that we talked about. Like the the um, the, the O G I think they call it OG file, uh, MP3 file, WAV file. It'll play all those. So that's playing right now. Um, what about movies? Again, MP4, a very popular format. One that will download from YouTube if you own the video. You can download the MP4. I can double click that, and that will actually open up here. Look at that. And I can make this, of course, full screen. Um, if I'm totally narcissistic um, and I want to look at myself all day. Uh, or you know I can I can minimize it and move the window around, make it really itty bitty, and there I am. So this is the, another app that we can use to watch the videos. And again, if we had a different app, we could actually use the watch function down here. And we have a couple of different. I have actually have an extra player on there called the 3 p.m. video player, and that could also open it. Um, so this is just another app that will open this type of media file. And this was again available in the Chrome Web Store. You can see it actually has a a pop out from its regular player. Um, but so that's how, and there I am again, and you can see that's how we play the videos. They, they pop open with this guy here. So I'm going to close that down. So that's, and again, if I click this text file, I have the view option, and that'll be inside of Chrome, or I can use text. Go ahead, default, there it goes. This is a neat text file. That's pretty cool, huh? So <laughs> again, we are. We are using the, the, the heck out of these media files, these different file types. We're checking out how they can open. We looked at the external storage with the, with the Kingston thumb drive that I had. Straightforward, pretty easy to do. Now, what about what else about this app can we use? Now, we do have the settings window. This will show us a couple different things. Whatever drive we have highlighted, it's going to give us a little bit of information. Downloads. This basically means that on my Chromebook, I have 8.4 gigabytes left of room on my Chromebook in the downloads folder. So that's pretty cool. Also, and I can change my view to either a list view, which of course gives us the date modified type and size, as well as if I do here, I can do thumbnail. So if I had images like our Adventures in Chrome logo, it'll show that to me. Now, if I go back over here, I'm gonna go back to list. A couple other things, we have new file and new folder and new window. So a new window would work just the way you would think. If I were to hit the control N, for new window. What this will allow me to do is transfer files from one folder to the other with a click and drag. Click and drag. So that's pretty pretty convenient right there. Um, so there's that and then also of course the control E allows me to create a new folder. And of course with this we do have the drag and drop functionality. We can drag files around, move them all around, right? I can put that in here. So the same drag and drop functionality with the new folder. Now let's look at searching. And for that, I'm actually gonna go into Google Drive. And the first thing you'll notice about my Google Drive is that here we are, we're on Google Drive, and you can see that some of these are gray. Why are they gray? Well, that's because we're currently offline and these files did not sync. So these, these are the type of files that do not sync automatically. The automatic files you can see listed are gonna be the GDocs, um, and then the folder references themselves, those all sync automatically. If I go in here, this one right here, we 
we go into the docks here, you'll see that these did come down, but then the other ones mostly did not, like these PDF files um, from this testing stuff. But anyway, so that you can see the gray ones are the ones that are not currently available. If I actually go to the offline, I see all the ones that are available for me that I've either referenced to be automatically pulled down or they're already here. So, and you can see here, if I go back to Drive, and then I go back online, right? So again, I'm offline, and I go online, I think, all right. So that'll take a moment. But as that gets online, once it does, boom, where you can see that right now, I, I, I right away, everything lights up, and I have everything that I would ever need right there at my fingertips. And again, it's right there. So, and if I, if I edited this GDoc, it would have been available to me right away. Uh, it would have synced with the once I connected offline. So this, if I modified this while I was offline, it would have synced up. So now let's get into searching, right? So we can we can see all the files and everything looks good. One of the things that you can do is you can just hit the first letter of the file. There's S. We can do A, right? C, all the good stuff. Um, we can also up here we can actually click this button right here, the search button. And we're going to be searching all of Drive, and again, we're online, so we're going to be searching all of it. Now, first of all, you're going to get the automatic list right there. And then if I do, I guess well, adventures. If I click adventures, now I'm going to get everything with the word adventures in it, as well as my folder adventures in Chrome right there. So that's got all of my information that I have in it. It's got my, my doc files everything like that that I would ever need on my visual file. So it's, all this is now here because of course I am online, right? So what about being able to open these files when you're offline? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump back offline and we're gonna go back into the grayness, getting those files in the gray. And when you're offline, you might say, well, how do I open a file that I have if I'm offline? So if I'm offline, how does it know to open GDocs and properly edit a document? So if I go to this untitled document and I crack it open here, you can see here it says Google Drive loading because it knows that it's actually offline. So if I maximize this, we're going to be on. We're going to be editing the document even though we are currently offline. Look, John was here. There he am. And now I am here again. All right. Now again, here's the logo. You were offline, but all changes were saved offline as soon as I synced up. Now. If we go back to our Files app, and we get back online, you'll see that it'll actually sync right back up. So again, as long as it's a file type that you can edit while you're offline, it will then go back online once you're done. And then reconnect, there we, there we go, saving, and it's now synced, and now we're back online. And there you go. So that's how it works. How does offline work? That's how it works. It's pretty straightforward and pretty easy to, to work with. There's no hassle, no trouble whatsoever. So that's kind of the, the, the crux of the, uh, of, of the way this works. It's pretty straightforward how, how everything comes together. If I, I went back to my, again, go back to settings, we can see how much room we have left on this, this thumb drive. Um, in the Google Drive, is another interesting thing I want to show you real quick is that when I went here, we can buy more storage, or we can go to drive.google.com, and we can see how much we have left. So that's pretty, pretty fancy. I do enjoy that. <laughs> Being able to see how much, see how much I have left in, in Drive. Um, in, the, in the show notes, in the links to this show, you're gonna find, I'm, I've got the support page kind of going over files and downloads, as well as that supported file types page that I showed you. So that way you can take a look at what you need to know about the Files app and what type of limitations um, it may have that you may think might get in your way. So definitely check that out. Um, of course, I do have one caveat that I'd like to, to mention is, is that if the uh, if you're watching this this video three months after its its date of initial air, things change in Chrome OS. Just keep that in mind. Um, every four to six weeks, Chrome OS is updated, and there might be a major update to files, which could have changed that. So definitely check out the links. Check out the community pages that are available at the product forums, uh, and just you know, dive in as, as best you can. I think it's, it's it's definitely worth it. Again, my name is John Oliphant from the Practical Chrome Podcast, and uh, I hope you guys have a rest of the uh, 
Must be a good good day there. I'm terrible with all my. I'm supposed to have all these great backdrops and stuff. It just doesn't work out. <laughs> you guys have a good rest of the day. Thanks for watching.